Okay, hiya, uh, Steve from Bambas. Uh, so, uh, changing the needle threader on a PR series machine. It's the same whether it's a six or a 10 needle. Uh, so, make sure you've got the needle carriage in needle position number one. So, just press that guy and obviously move it around. Put it to position number one. So let's take the two side covers off. We'll take the dust caps off. First. So Phillips screwdriver. Top side cover first. And the bottom one. Two screws in the top one, three screws in the bottom. Okay, what I wanted to get access to was this guy here. So that's the rack that drives the needle threader up and down. And because we've got access to that now, we can put it just in the right position so we can slide the needle threader off. But first of all, next thing is let's just pull uh, the needles out. Uh, we want to A, take the needles out first because it gives us even better access to the needle threader because the needle's in front of it. But more important than that, uh, when you come to change your needle threader, you need to put a new set of needles in first because obviously if one of the needles is slightly deflected, it's going to deflect your new needle threader. So, with your Allen screwdriver, you can just loosen all the screws, just about one and a half, two turns. I like to use a pair of thin nose pliers and I just pull the old needles out. Okay. Put them in the bin, don't save them. Okay, so the needle threader now, I can move it up and down now to get it just in the position that I want it. Now, I like to use a couple of screwdrivers. I put one in between the body of the needle threader and the bracket. There, I just want to put my hand up a little bit more like that. I know it's going to be in the way. And I'm going to put one on the end there of the little arm and I'm going to lever that up and at the same time twist the screwdriver out and then this rear shaft that the needle threader runs on and just grab that now and just ease it out and at the same time ease the needle threader to the left and the needle threader comes out now on that rear see there's, there's two shafts on the rear shaft there's a little spring there Make sure that just stays on, okay? Now, here's the needle threader. The gist of this is it's got a hole there, a hole there. It runs on the two shafts, but that rear one there, it's got a little arm, and on the arm, it's got a little no locating piece, which 
just extends down a little bit off it. Now, just have a, a quick look at this. Just to be clear, it's difficult to see it on the machine. The rear shaft that the needle thread slides onto. is like that so the needle threader slides onto it and you slide it onto it until this arm here drops into and locates on the groove cut in the rear shaft let's go and do it So, I'm going to put it up, I'm going to push that one in and at the same time push the needle thread slide to the right. I find it if I spin it as well while I'm pushing it in, and you just got to locate it like that. Okay, now I don't know if you can see that locating piece that I was talking about has dropped into the groove on the rear shaft. The spring is in place there, so we're good to go. So let's put the needles in and test it. So new needles. flat to the back. Use your thin nose pliers so that you can grip the shaft because it's important you push them up firmly so you feel the top of the needle stop against the needle stop screw. Flat to the back. Okay, now in that position now, you can now grab hold of this driver and just slide it down smoothly and just watch from the front and you can just see that the new hook of the new needle threader now goes through the eye of the needle. That's great. So, let's put it back together. This guy first. and you'll feel it just drop into place. Three screws. Just don't tighten them up until you've got all three in. Just in case you need to move the cover a little. Okay, they're all in so let's tighten them up. Top side cover, drop that into place. Two screws. And of course the dust covers just go straight back in.
And that's it. Uh, how to change the needle threader on your brother PR. It's straightforward. Uh, always put new needles in it though before you change the needle threader. Okay guys, see you soon.